Hello! Today I'm here to review a book that I stumbled across in a bookshop, got transfixed by the yellow cover and just couldn't let go of. And you know what? I'm very glad that I didn't, because I really enjoyed this book. Joanna is a girl growing up in a council house in Wolverhampton in the 1990s. She has a father trying to make it in the music industry and a mother suffering from postnatal depression. They live off the state on disability benefits. After a very embarrassing and life-changing incident, Joanna sets out to reinvent herself as the girl that she wants to be. She calls this girl Dolly Wilde, after um, the niece of Oscar Wilde. I'm just going to start out by saying that this book had a very British sense of humour and very British dialogue and it was absolutely hilarious and I love reading books that are set in England and use that dialect because sometimes we can go a while without reading one if you get sucked into all of the American books that are out there but English books there's just something special about them and this was absolutely hilarious and I'm really glad that it is now in my life. I didn't think I'd like Joanna as much as I did. At first I was sure that we weren't going to click after, say, the first chapter, but no, her sense of humour and her ability to embarrass herself in situations just... Yep, I did click with the 14-year-old Joanna. As she progressed in her age, I felt I got more and more distant from her, but I think that was what was supposed to happen, and of course my liking of the character didn't affect at all my enjoyment of the book. She's just a genuine and real girl and no way a caricature or stereotype. In fact, all of the characters in this book are pretty well developed. One of my favourites, actually no, my favourite character in this book was actually a side character, her brother Chrissy. He was really well developed and um, I just had a lot of sympathy for him. Now some of the things Joanna starts to do and the judgments she makes did bug me a little bit because they were just not the judgments I made when I was that age. In fact, I was quite the opposite to her, but then of course I was the girl who tutored little kids to play the violin, not the one who drank WKD in the park at night. But she was being a naive teenager and the messages and lessons in this book are really worth every teenager reading, I think, because they really do teach you things. This book is very good for that, it's just an all around coming of age story where a teenager does some things and learns some lessons and those type of books are some of my favourite type of books. Caitlin Moran doesn't hold back with the taboo subjects and her dedication to presenting young girls not as little angels and I admire her for that. There is a lot of sex in this book, that's just a warning, you know? A lot of sex. Just some people don't like reading books with a lot of sex but a lot of British awkward sex and it's rather funny but it's also rather upsetting to me and but none of it's bad it's just growing up the main part of this book for me was having my views challenged and trying to learn about a part of society that i don't understand as much i always like to try and see things from different perspectives and gain new perspectives on life I've already built my girl, but the messages about how hard it is for the poor and people ba gaining benefits to move up in society really will stick with me and I want to try and find other books that look into that even more. The choices that Joanna made in this book wouldn't be my choices, but I am not coming from her perspective of looking at them. And, and this book also just highlights the importance of libraries. There are a few moments that bugged me though, and there was one moment that I just didn't think was that realistic. And I want to know if other people thought it was realistic. She drank for the first time, the first time she drank, and she drank like a whole bottle of wine, and a cider, and I think some vodka and gin, and she, she still managed to have a normal conversation with someone. She went straight to binge drinking. She managed to have a normal conversation with someone. She didn't seem to have any ill effects from it. And she managed to look after herself and get back on the train home and just all of those things. And I just don't think that's realistic. The first time I drank, well, I can't remember the first time I drank, but the first time I had spirits, I think I had half, a, I think I had half a mojito and I was, I couldn't walk properly. <laughs> Two glasses of wine is my limit. I mean, I'm a complete lightweight, but I think that any 16 year old girl that's drinking for the first time wouldn't be able to stomach that much and still be awake, but that's just a little thing. 
But all in all, I really enjoyed this book and I would recommend you read it if you like the things that I have mentioned in it. And I'm just going to leave you with a really lovely line that sums up not only the lessons I have taken from this book, but the way I've lived my life for many, many years. The world is difficult and we are all breakable, so just be kind. Until next time, look in the shadows guys. She's just a genuine and real girl and in no way a caricature. She's just a genuine and real girl and in no way a caricature or a caricature. Caricature.